compensating for local interference? Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? Hmm. That's the start of an answer. Captain Shran, perhaps you'd care to fill in the detail? The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack. The ship is under the command of this cadet. The Sabrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Durant? Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays havoc with our systems. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? Scanning in progress. Picking up large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Durant here. Are you seeing the same ETA radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Again? Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly.
quickly for a more valuable target. Concentrate fire on the remaining vessel. This is a cling on now. All ships, fire at will. Nice shot, cadets. I think I know what the Klingons are up to here. They're using this system as a staging area. Something big is about to go down. We're picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a Dilithium mine there, one we can't afford to lose to the Klingons. The Ticonderoga was badly damaged and they took heavy casualties as well. Medical tells me Captain Durant was injured, but she'll recover in time. We're still working on triage and restoring the ship's critical systems. Which leads me to our next course of action. I want you to go to the Corvan system and warn them about the Klingons. The Sabroba is better equipped to hold off further Klingon attacks and assist the Ticonderoga here. We'll do what we can to delay them, but it'll be up to you to warn the people of Corvan. We have to make our way to... the Corvan colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. Congratulations. Giving her all she's got, Captain. I hope we get there in time. Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? Run that by me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? What about them? We just lost contact with Corvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. The SAT uses our security protocols. We should be able to access it. Hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Orders? Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them.
Captain, I have short-range comms again. Long-range signals are still blocked. I've updated the colony. However, the Klingons have started to send down attack squads. What are your orders? Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Civilian vessel, disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. Oh, this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate they're moving, this area will fall in less than an hour. Right. Lead the way, Captain. I've got your back. Lay the gate closed! We have to get out of here! And Starfleet's here! To die? We have to help oh, them! Thank goodness. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your officers, though. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the- Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the Chief and the others! Press the U key to view your status for this- This is your character. Here- Careful. There's a lot of Klingons down there.
Star Fleet. We are saved. It's just us up here, Captain. No sign of Saproba or Ticonderoga. I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting family here, I'd have eaten a disruptor place by now. Not to be critical, but uh, where are the rest of you? Oh, that, that's not good. We're in big trouble. These Klingons mean business. They've locked us out of the mine, probably down there robbing us blind while we speak. No way we can beam anyone down to stop them. And they've probably killed all our security there by now. Glad to hear it. We're definitely going to need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Solution, but it could be what we need to keep the Klingons from getting any more of their troops down there. I know, right? Well, first things first. I'm reading a device at the base of the mine entrance. If you can set up a jumper between it and the main command console, you'll be able to reroute the field's power flow. That'll open up the mine for you and set up things for my plan. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the Klingons coming. We're about to have some really... Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll, I'll get the job done. Just keep them off me, okay? Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. 
We won't forget it. You didn't have to come help us, at least all by yourselves. But we're really happy you did. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Oh, and sorry about that whole phaser in the face thing earlier. Won't happen again. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go! Klingons aren't so tough when your targets shoot back, huh? Locked. I suppose we'll just have to knock. <laughs> what? The bombing has stopped! Something's wrong! Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport! No! Not so fast, Klingon! You're done here! Strange energy readings near your position. What's going on down there? Did Ev shoot a reactor or something? Hold on. Okay. I pulled the specs on that unit. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. It you well, I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Still a bad thing, nuclear. Not as bad as, say, a warp core breach, but still bad, so we should definitely try to avoid that. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism, and good news, it's really easy to operate. It's just a pair of simple switches. I don't know, I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled, you know? You can do this. Ask around, see if there are any locals. They might be able to assist. Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine secure, and you didn't blow up. And that's good. But the Klingons are still on their way. We could use your help up here when you're ready to beam up. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. There's still a lot of Klingon ships heading our way, though. We need to leave, and soon. But... There's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. 
We need to warn them about the Klingons, or they could warp into the middle of a war zone. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite as we leave the system, which we should soon. <laughs> the message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Don't mention it. You do the same where our situation's reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you and your crew, Captain. Your efforts to defend the Federation are commendable, and my report will indicate this. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here is done. You're to report to the Soul System with the civilians you've rescued. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Kensington for debriefing. 
Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done well under extraordinary circumstances. And Congratulations! You've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can. After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. I mean, what's string theory compared to dodging Klingon disruptor blasts or trying to keep a warp core stable? Speaking of scary, think Admiral Kensington's gonna go easy on you? The ship did kind of get beat up. A little. Uh, okay, a lot. 